I became a patient of Duke after it was discovered that I had kidney cancer. Surgery went well. Now because they had to take part of my kidney, my kidney function was permanently impaired. I could end up in a place where I am reliant on dialysis just to be able to survive. And I think about how active I am now and how that would diminish my quality of life to a point of where I would find it completely unacceptable. When you've got impaired kidney function, it can affect so many other important systems, vital systems. So if you don't want to compromise your lifespan, it's super important that you take good care of your kidneys. The goal for Adrienne in order to protect her kidneys was to make sure that her blood pressure remained controlled um, and also to make sure that she was living a healthy lifestyle to help protect her kidneys over time. Dr. Tyson, she's first of all, she's amazing. So that's one thing I would definitely inform anyone to do is to get a doctor that's gonna help educate them. We developed a plan to identify the right kind of medication for me to not only control the blood pressure, but also to protect my kidneys and the kidney function. The thing about Adrian is she's a rock star. So she was already doing a lot of things before she had come to see me. So, you know, encouraging her to continue to exercise, encouraging her to continue to modify her diet. And if she had any, you know, questions about, um, you know, if I eat certain things, is it gonna affect my kidneys? I was able to provide her with that information so that she can make the decisions that she needed to for her health. You know, every visit that I would have, we would have these conversations about what I needed to do differently. When I would take my blood test and get my panel results, she would sit down and actually go through all of my values with me and help me to understand what they actually meant. So they just weren't blind numbers to me. I understood and I understood what part I could play in improving those numbers. I bought a sit stand so I can raise, you know, my desk and stand and move around as I'm meeting sometimes or build in times where I can go for a nice walk just to try to get that extra exercise in, getting quality sleep and managing stress. And I think the most important thing that she definitely drilled into my head was staying hydrated. Adrienne has been doing really well with her kidney function. Um, we've been monitoring her labs and things have been stable over the you know, past few years that I've been seeing her. And I feel optimistic as long as she's continuing to, you know, on a path of living a healthful life um, in terms of eating healthy and exercising, um, then she's doing everything that she can do to help protect her kidneys. My kidney function continues to be very stable. I have had times where it's gone in the wrong direction. And when that's happened, again, we, we mobilize, I like to call it, we mobilize very quickly to identify what's going on. It, it's a scary thing and don't let anybody tell you that it's not, right? Kidneys, I mean, that's a vital organ. You need to have that, right, to survive. But what you're dealing with is not insurmountable. Um, and there's an incredible support network of people that are going through a very similar journey that have achieved a place of a high quality, high functioning life that's very enjoyable. It is very important for me personally to accept those things that I can't change and do what I can do about it to change so that my life continues to be progressive and enjoyable. Life is a gift.